divide in the land of Oz for good. But who will be handing back her shoes and who will be clicking their heels in delight? There's only one man with the power to save them. I feel a tornado of tears could be on the way. Please welcome our final ten, Dorothys! <laughs> Sing off tonight. Emily, Jenny, Danny, Sophie, Danielle, Stephanie, Bronte, Jessica, Steph, or Lauren. Tonight's live show saw our Dorothys perfect their acting skills, performing with more heart than the Tin Man could ever wish for. But did they cast a spell over you? The results are in, and the dreaded sing off is looming. We'll soon find out which Dorothys are in the bottom two and must sing to the Lord for their survival. Here to oversee the proceedings is our panel of experts straight talking leading lady, Sheila Hancock, <laughs> East End and West End wonder, John Partridge, <laughs> and the church we all worship at, Charlotte Church. Plus, the Lord with so much power, even the wicked witch trembles at the mere mention of his name, Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> oh, excuse I. Uh, tonight, our Dorothys will be performing another musical mashup, and we saw the Drama Supremes from the Drama Queens in a special acting mission. Plus, we're leaving no bone unturned as our hunt for Toto begins. You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time And whereabouts have you come from? You Manchester From Manchester? From Warrington Oh, go for it! Oh, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss last night's show? If so, what were you thinking? There was singing, dancing, acting, and most importantly, sparkly shoes. Brace yourselves. Here's a reminder of what happened. Hello, and welcome to Over the Rainbow. <laughs> you wicked witch. Oh, it's like Halloween. <laughs> Please welcome our final ten Dorothys. It's a fun number. I didn't get that. When I look at you, I see Dorothy. But when you come out and perform, I just don't feel like you're owning it. I disagree. I've seen you perform better, but I think you did pretty well. I think you struggled a little bit, Sophie. It's just frustrating because I felt as if I did a good performance. And I don't know. Get carried away by the crowd every time you sing loudly. They they applaud, but 
at the very end of the number, you got it. I just felt that there was no truth and no honesty in that performance at all. It was completely presentational. I hope I can take that on board and it'll help me as a performer in general, even if I don't go any further in the competition. Suddenly I see this is what I want to be. Suddenly I see why the hell it means so much to me. That song is about having a revelation. And I just felt you had that revelation right at the beginning of the song. No, I completely disagree. I think Put she... Put them up. No, I swear to God. I saw that the whole way through, and it got bigger and bigger towards the end. I really felt like I gave everything. So I just hope I'm still here next week. But I want to go home. I got to go home. Let me go home. Your emotion, it was just really good. Well done. I thought it was beautiful, Danny. Keep pushing, Danny, keep pushing because you've got it in you. You look like a girl who could really be part of the Wizard of Oz and could be a Dorothy. Charlotte said last week I wasn't Dorothy, and this week she's kind of taking it back, and that's just what I wanted, and I'm so happy. I couldn't, I'm so happy. You is how you front a number. Ladies, take note. That was absolutely fantastic. That performance was fearless. It was terrific. Really terrific. I'm so pleased I saved you. I mean, it, it, it was quite a different performance. I saw a different side to you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Whatever happens now happens, but at least I feel good about, about it. Awesome. You had a lovely tone throughout and you just sang it really, really beautifully. You could have had a little more passion in there, but I'm still a fan of Jenny Douglas. I thought you did it beautifully. I, you were completely in tune. Your pitching was immaculate. It was a great performance. Andrew Lloyd Webber said that was pitch perfect, so hello. You know, I was, I was chuffed, absolutely chuffed. Cause I'm just a little girl. You've got a big career ahead of you. You're a really good actress. But I love how you're so dynamic. Love the whole performance. That was your best performance to date. You're really fantastic. You are a very, very strong contender. I went out there and my confidence was pretty much on the floor, as it is most weeks because you're just so nervous. And it's just, it's such a relief when you get nice comments because you just think, oh, right, I deserve to be here. Don't tell me what it's all. Lauren, I'm getting bored of hearing myself say how fabulous you are, but you were fabulous again. I loved it. That was witty and charming and light. You're very confident, which is great, but sometimes it can come across as a bit arrogant. But it was just unbelievable, so fair to you. I don't think I'm arrogant. I am confident, but, you know, I'll, just, I'll work on that for her. Um, yeah, and other than that, I feel really pleased with my comments. Fleming back in the competition. <laughs> what a great set of pins you've got as well. I thought it was a great performance. You really need to learn to control your voice. Like, you're a bit pitchy in places. I rather agree with Charlotte. I don't think you've completely got your voice under control yet. To hear John say, I'm back in the competition, was just oh, it was an unbelievable feeling. I just feel absolutely over the moon and so confident. The time you must keep on. Stephanie, I loved seeing a softer side to you. I think you could have had a little better breath control, but it was still great. I just love your tone of voice. I think it was perfect. I think it was the performance of the night for me. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy indeed.
you did it beautifully, really well, with real Thank intelligence. You. And you turned me around. I wasn't sure last week. I really wasn't quite sure, but you were fantastic. I really, really did work so hard on that song, and I'm just so glad the hard work paid off. This means everything to me, and this is my life, and I, I want to just go out there every week and perform and do what I love to do. Please welcome back our Darby! It was an eventful night, and our panel were in fine form. Uh, Andrew, some brilliant performances this week. What do you make of the standard in the competition so well, far? Well, it's incredibly high, and remember, these girls are all singing live. All the chorus numbers are live, everything you hear is live, the musicians are live. And we're all baffled, actually. I thought last night we talked, we thought everything has been turned around. We, we don't know, have no clue who's going to be in the bottom two and who's going to win. Right. And of Charlotte, of course, uh, when you talk about Dorothy, you are drawing from your own experience, aren't you? There you go. Oh, oh. roses. Shame you can't enter. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah just nip it. in in the semi-final. Yeah. Don't, don't waste your time I now. Can do my yeah. best. Um, last week, our Dorothys performed their own version of a musical mashup. This week, the girls are hungry for more. Andrew, are you hungry for more? I'm more scrambled. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here, mashing it up, mash, mash, in their own Dorothy way, it's our final ten! We're on the hunt for Dorothy's four-legged friend. And this week, we held open auditions for dogs to strut their stuff and wag their way into the West End. At stake is a gala performance. 
But there's no doggy discrimination on this show. We had entries from all walkies of life. So, which dogs were destined for stardom and which were barking up the wrong tree? The search began for our very own Toto. Parks across the country lay empty as hundreds upon hundreds of proud dog owners turned up to give their dog its day. And they call mm, mommy loves you. Yes, licky lick. We came in a cab all the way from London, six o'clock in the morning. I believe she's got talent and she would like her name up in lights. She's going to be the perfect companion for Dorothy because she's so lovable. This is Tinkerbell Stinkerbell Carey Wells, who's five years old and she's a Wheaton Cairn Terrier from Burton-on-Trent, but don't tell her that because she thinks she's from the West End. From the very small to the very tall, they all had their hearts set on a prize that money can't buy. I think she's got star quality and I think he's got star quality. My mum thinks he's got star quality. She's got the character, she's got the charisma. Paris has got everything. A lot of people say he's quite ugly, so I want him to uh, give, it, give him a chance to shine. Milo may be small, but he thinks he's a rock biler, so those flying monkeys better watch out. <laughs> My dog Ruby is really clever because she can actually do maths. Five takes away three. <laughs> Stride would make a great Toto because he'd look after Dorothy and he'd be able to give the uh, munchkins a ride to us. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber, if you're watching, Tiggy is the best dog on earth and she could be Toto. A competition this fierce calls for the very best in the doggy business. I can spot star potential in a dog within 10 seconds. Oh, how about that? I'm looking for great character and great appeal. An outgoing, happy, confident dog that really wants to enjoy the moment in the limelight. Barking for attention, though. It's not going to be good. Yeah, it's going to upstage the dog. Yeah. There is a great deal of pressure for Team Toto to find the perfect dog because it is such a big role. And how are you doing? His bald patch got bigger and bigger through the years. Oh, He's just like completely bald now. Yeah. Well, they say dogs are like the owners. <laughs> <laughs> So the panel had high hopes, but could they be fulfilled? One by one, the nation's pets were groomed to perfection and put through their paces. Your dog can do leg weaves, turns, spins. This is your chance to show it off. Whereabouts have you come from? Manchester. From Manchester. Well, Warrington. Oh, go for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a good boy. <laughs> for some, the pressure was intense. I don't know, do you smell anything? I'm so sorry about that. You need to go, you need to go, no? You know, what can you do? For others, it was just a walk in the park. I like this one. Amazing. From almost 1,000 pooches, the panel picked their favourite 50 to progress to the next stage of the competition. That's you. Congratulations. O3. AB19. AG22. Congratulations. Congratulations. That'd be brilliant, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very thank you much. So much. Congratulations. <laughs> Tune in next week to see the final 50 show off their unique array of talents to the panel in the race Wait. to become Toto. Wait. Well, he's such a talented dog. Rain Rooney can't do it, Beckham can't do it, no one can do it, but he can. Shining like the superstar he is. Yeah. How on earth are we going to whittle us down to ten? I will cry. I know I'll cry. Uh, now, I'm with all our Dorothys. Uh, now, uh, Steph, you've had a, a great week because last week, of course, uh, Andrew didn't see you as Dorothy, but now he's mad about you. Yeah, um, that's really nice. Um, it was horrible last week being in that position. No one wants to be the first one to do that. But um, yeah, you just have to brush yourself off and focus on the next week. And hopefully, I did enough. All right. And uh, Stephanie, uh, Charlotte named you as the performance of the night. You must be over the moon. I am over the moon, but I just hope I'm not sitting on it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am really happy with my comments. You know, it's brilliant. I just hope that the um, public vote me in for another week so I can show Charlotte that I've got more to give.
All right, and Sophie, I mean, you got a quite mixed comments. Uh, John, again, not convinced. Do you think you could ever turn him around? Well, I hope so, because, you know, we all do want to prove to the panel that we are the Dorothys they're looking for, so I hope I'm here another week to pack some more punch in my performance. All right, well, good luck to all of you. Well, have our Dorothys inspired you? If so, get yourself down to one of the Over the Rainbow musical masterclasses that we are holding across the country. Anyone is welcome to join in the sing-along. To find out more, go to bbc.co.uk slash Dorothy. Still to come, the dreaded sing-off beckons. But now for tonight's acting mission. This week, Andrew enlisted Sheila to help the girls get in touch with their inner Dorothy. But who gave a winning performance? Sheila has given the girls just 48 hours to learn a scene from The Wizard of Oz. I particularly wanted to do this scene when she meets the scarecrow because a scarecrow talking is quite alarming, so I want to see how they deal with that. And then he's a sad creature, he hasn't got a brain. I want to see maybe some compassion. And then the end of the scene is when they pal up and she's got a mate to go on the journey with. So there's quite a lot of, it's a short scene, but quite a lot happens. Oh, God. I think we've all learned it. No, I think so. <laughs> the acting's going to definitely be a challenge more than what the singing is. I am quite a good actress and I'd like to show that today. Because I was in the bottom two last week, I do feel like there's a little bit of extra pressure and obviously everyone wants to impress Sheila Hancock, so... Yeah, just got to do well. And there's not only Sheila to worry about, there's a rather unpredictable scarecrow to contend with. Now which way do I go? Only one way can be the right way. Now which way do we go? Well, only one way can be the right way. That way's a very nice way. You can talk, can't you? Of course! <laughs> oh. I just don't often have a lot to say. Maybe you can help me find my way. Which way are you heading? Well, I'm heading home. Oh. I just don't know how to get there. But the Wizard of Oz can show me. She's so good, Lawrence. Verging on too good. And she has a, a wonderful sincerity about her, which sometimes gets hidden by a bit of gloss. Ooh, that Sheila's a tough cookie to please. Maybe the wizard can help me find out what it is. By the way, I'm Dorothy. I'm Dorothy. My name's Dorothy. I'm Dorothy. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Well, you were, Sophie, until you started forgetting your lines. I don't know how to get there. Hmm. Well, I can't even remember where the line is now. Now I'm off stage. It's gone. I can't think of it. <laughs> oh dear, Danny. It must be catching. Maybe the wizard can can help you. I am. Um... Sorry. You have to know lines upside down, inside out. It's the most important thing. I don't know, I felt really annoyed because I, I, I knew them really well, but I just couldn't think what the lines were, so I'm a bit disappointed. Let's see how our other Dorothys get on. I'm sure the wizard would be able to get you a brain, but even if he doesn't, I'm sure you'd be no worse off than you are now. So why don't we? What? Go there together. Jessica and Steph were doing a bit what is expected in musical theatre. Uh, Stephanie, she wasn't listening to the scarecrow. It was sort of slightly acted listening. If I were rehearsing them, I'd be going, stop it, stop smiling, stop this, stop that. Of course! Ha! Hooray! Hooray! We're off to see the wizards! The wonderful wizards! Lovely Bronte, so well good. done. All right, thank you. See you later. Yeah. Bye. I think you have to go that way, sweetheart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye, thank you. Well, the ones that stood out most for me because they were so different were Jenny. She totally remained in character, this kind of startled thing. Bronte, I thought, has got funny little legs that collapse under her. Emily was staggering to me. She's sometimes a little bit timid, but she used that for the character, which could be a great asset. I think the one that really took me by surprise was Danielle because she found a sort of solemnity and grace in Dorothy. She's a considerable actress in my opinion. If I only had a brain. Mm, plenty to think about. They're all wanting to seal the show. Here performing the Judy Garland classic, Get Happy, it's our final ten. i
troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. The sun is shining, come on, get happy. The Lord is waiting to take your hand. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. We're going to the promised land. We're heading across the river to wash your sins away in the tide. It's all so peaceful on the other side. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for your judgment day. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. Chase your cares away. Dorothy will be handing back her shoes. Uh, Andrew, we've seen some really impressive performances this week. Uh, who stood out for you? Truly, it was an extraordinary performance from all of them. So I don't want to single one out. OK, fair enough. Now, we are moments away from finding out who is in the bottom two. No one wants to be in that position. But who do the Dorothys think will be going home this week? I think Danielle may be the next girl to leave. She's only showing one side to her performance. I think Emily could be the next girl to go because she's had to turn her song from a pop song into musical theatre and that's really difficult. I think the next girl to leave could be Jenny. Steph might be the next one to go purely because she was just in the bottom two last week. I think Danielle might be the next girl to leave. I think Steph could possibly be the next one to go purely because she was in the bottom two last week, Steph. I think the next person going home could possibly be Danny because of the judges' comments last week. It's a really, really tough one to call, but I just don't know. I think it could possibly be Emily. Just because I don't think the public are behind her, judging from last week, I have to say Steph. next week's live show and who has crashed into the bottom two before we announce the result let's ask the panel based on this week's performances who is not Dorothy uh, Sheila oh gosh I hate this um I think she's absolutely terrific but just based on the performance uh, it has to be Sophie for me uh, John because this performance lacked truth and honesty in my opinion Jessica and Charlotte? Because the vocal just wasn't strong enough on the night, Emily. All right. There are just nine places in next week's live show. The two Dorothys with the lowest number of votes must perform again in our sing-off. Andrew can only save one of them. There may be no place like home, but none of our girls want to go there tonight. One, Dorothy's dream is about to come to an end. All the votes have been counted and verified. I will now announce the results in no particular order. Stephanie. You could still be Dorothy. Congratulations. Please leave the stage.
Jessica and Jenny. You could also still be Dorothy. Well done. You're in the bottom two and in the sing-off. I'm sorry, please come and join me. Danny and Sophie. Both of you could still be Dorothy. Well done. <laughs> Steph. You're safe. You're through to the next time of our show. Go join the others. <laughs> Danielle, Emily, and Lauren, please step forward. Thanks to the viewers' votes, two of you are safe and through to next week's live show. One of you is on dangerous ground and in the sing-off with Bronte. Danielle. You could still be Dorothy. Congratulations. Go join the others. <laughs> Two of you are left. Only one guaranteed place remains in next week's show. Emily. You could still be Dorothy. Congratulations. Go and join the others. Which means, Lauren, you are in the bottom two and will perform in the sing-off with Bronte. Bronte, would you like to go and join Lauren, please? OK. Bronte and Lauren. You two are the least popular Dorothys. One of you received the lowest amount of votes, and if it were down to viewers' votes alone, I can reveal the girl that would be out of the competition is... Bronte. But, Bronte, there's still hope. Andrew may decide to save you. They must both now perform What I Did For Love from a chorus line. It's the song all ten of our Dorothys have been rehearsing all week, None of them wanted to sing. Andrew, uh, any words of advice you can give these girls right now? Well, I'm talking as the producer of The Wizard of Oz, and I have to say, this is a nightmare for me because both of you were in my top five. I'm going to honestly say that. So it's got to come down... <laughs> ..to how, how you interpret this song because this is the judgment I'm going to have to make and it's a judgment I really do not want to make. But what I did for love is, of course, from Chorus Line and it's a two-edged sword, this song, because actually it's about love but it's also about love for theatre. So try and convey that tonight. I, I'm at a knife edge and I don't want to lose either of you. But do your best, girls. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, Bronte, you will perform first, followed by Lauren. Here, singing to impress Android Webber and win his casting vote. It's Bronte and Lauren. Kiss today goodbye. The sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck the same too. You, but 
I can't regret what I did for love, what I did for love. Look, my eyes are dry. The gift was ours to borrow. It's as if we all. I won't forget what I did for love, what I did for love. Gone. Love is never gone as we travel on. Love's what we'll remember. Well, Bronte and Lauren have done all they can. Andrew, you've now got to decide. Bronte or Lauren, who will you save? I mean, I truly am gutted with this. Uh, two fantastically talented girls. Both of you will go a long, long way in your careers. I know you will. And I've just got to go on tonight something that I really really and this is the first time in all of the shows that I've done that I really genuinely can say do you know I don't I don't know but I got to make a choice I know and I just feel that perhaps experience might count so I'm going to save Lauren and I'm sorry <laughs> congratulations Lauren you will perform again next week please go and join the others Bronte, oh, why, why is Bronte going home? I think honestly only on the basis of the experience and Bronte, I honestly, honestly would have hoped that this would not have happened and certainly not at this stage of the show. You're a fantastically talented girl. We must keep in touch. You must keep in touch with the panel. I know they all agree with me. You're a fantastic kid. I've said fantastic too many times, so I'll say it again. Bronte, I hope you'll take away some good memories from this experience. Yeah, it, it's been the most amazing experience of my life. And um, I just want to say, like, all those girls are so amazing. They deserve it so much. Um, and um, it's been really hard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry it's ending so soon. Well, Bronte, sadly, that's it. it you know what's going to mm -hmm. come. It's time to hand back your shoes. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go over there and get ready to sing us out of the show one last time. <laughs> so Bronte is not Dorothy, and now we're down to nine. That's all for tonight. Join me again next Saturday at 7.15 here on BBC One and BBC HD when our remaining Dorothys will take another step towards the West End. Plus, our search for Toto continues. Until then... I'll leave you with Bronte and our Dorothys to say goodbye in their own special way. See you next Saturday. We thank you very sweetly for doing it so neatly. You've ditched us so completely that we thank you very sweetly.